Got another PlayStation Classic video here. Probably gonna be my last. So let's jump into it. Intro. Greetings, Gem Sons. It's your boy, Templeton Page Taylor, and welcome back to another damn hidden gem. And on today's video, it's going to be another damn PlayStation Classic uh, video about another damn auto blame upgrade. Jesus Christ, am I right? I've already done four PlayStation Classic videos, and my auto blame one should have been my last. But on this new 8.7 version, not the newest, 9.0 is the newest, on this new 8.7, version, I'm going to show you what I've added and what I've decided not to add, as well as what I wanted to make of it, because uh, like I said, this is more of a PlayStation to me, okay? PlayStation Classic, PlayStation. So let me show you what I've added to it. Let me show you what I've added from 7.1 to 8.7. I don't know why I keep moving my hands all around, that I haven't personally seen on other people who have upgraded 8.7, and I'll let you know about things that I've taken off. So, without any further ado, let's jump into this PlayStation Classic video about Audible 8.7 and my PlayStation Classic the way I like it. Hey there, Gemstones. I'm actually going to be behind the scenes so you guys can see the full screen of everything that I want to show you. Also, I'm going to have the music down and play some of my own, just because a lot of the things have music that I don't want to get in trouble for. So, with that in mind, let's check this out. Uh, that should look a little better there. Alrighty. So, with AutoBlame 8.7, the only major differences are the themes and the additional option to play games like Beats of Rage. And of course, they still have Retro Art. You can add other games to this from other systems Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Dreamcast. Other videos have done that. For me, I'm strictly PlayStation. I do have a couple of beat em ups, I'll show you those, but strictly PlayStation. But we're going to go through the themes right now, so I'm going to hit select, and you can see we have the theme that we're on right now, and by hitting start, it's your basic theme, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but I actually have added a few other games. There you go, can you guys see it now? Hope that's not too bright for you. There we go. Okay, so I've got 138 games now. And as you guys know, mine is not region locked, so I'll just quickly go through the games that I have. You can see Advanced BG, Advanced BG2, The Cruise of the Heartless, Along the 2, Animatic Story Game, Clark Captain Sakura. For some reason, this game is in the same folder, but it's split it up into two discs. So this is the first one, this is the second. Arc Lab 1, 2, and 3. Arc of Time, Assault Retribution, Battle Arena Toshinden 2, 3, 4, which is Power Region only, and the first one. And it does that with other games, you'll see that further down the list. Blaster Master, Blast from the Again, Blasto, Blade and Blade, Eternal Quest, Bloody Bride, Imodoki no Bankaya, again, uh, English Patch, Brave Proof, another game that is uh, Japanese only, English Patch, Brigadeen, Grand Edition, Bugs Bunny and Taz, Time Busters, Castlevania Chronicles, Chaos Break, Power Region Game Only, China, uh, Power Region Game Only, Tokubo Dungeon 2, Cool Borders 2, 
Cross, Legend of Zabo. Only has the first one here, so the second one is on one of my other sticks. This custom game, they actually counted as a game, so I really only have one through seven. Darkstalkers, The Night Warriors, Destruction Derby, Disney Superior Honey Hunt, Dracula X Nocturne in the Moonlight, Dragon Ball GT Final Bout, Dragon Valor. For some reason it only shows one disc, but this is a two disc game. I might have to go through the system and fix that. Echo Knight came out in the States, Echo Knight 2, Japanese only, English patch. Air Guys, God Bless the Rain, Eternalize. Fear Effect 2, because Fear Effect 1 is on one of my sticks. Fighting Force, Fighting Force 2. For some reason they put 1 before 2 in this one, but you'll see later on. So you got Final Fantasy 9, Final Fantasy 7, again, 9 before 7. Finger Flashing, uh, again, Japanese game. Uh, English patch, Firebug, another uh, PAL region game only, Frogger 2, Swamp is Revenge, Gaia Sea, Gear Fighter Dendo, Japanese game only, even the text is in Japanese, Gekyo Shooting King, Genso Suko Gaiden Volume 1, basically um, tweak it in 1 and 2, and it does it here, it does Volume 1 and Volume 2, uh, weird how it goes back and forth, Grand Theft Auto, Gun Gage, Heart of Darkness, Hell Knight. Power Region Only, Intelligent Cube, Jake Coon, Jumping Flash, Jumping Flash 2 is on one of my sticks, Jupiter Strike, Kedakeda, Cyborg, Trochan, Kagugi, Yaru, Cardia, Killer Loop, Kingsley's Adventures, Clonoa Beach Volleyball, Japanese Game Only, Kodelka, Lightning Legends, Fighting Game of Story, Japanese Only, Looney Tunes Sheep Raiders, Mad Soccer Full Metal Force, Marvel vs. Capcom, Menorot R, Mega Man 8, Mega Man Legends 2, Metal Gear Solid, Misadventures of Tron Vaughn, Miss Spider's Tea Party, Monkey Magic, Monster C, Mr. Driller, Neksu, Neketsuo, Oyaku, or Hot Blood Family, Beat'em Up Kings, Ninja Shadow of Darkness, Oddworld Ed's Odyssey, Panzer Bandit, Sona 2, and Thin, Japanese version, English patch, Pocket Fighter. This was the game that I said in an earlier video. My friend Ray is the one who said that you can become Lion-O in one of the combos. This is it. Not the actual Pocket... Not Puzzle Fighter. It's Pocket Fighter. Uh, Puchi Kare. Ridge Racer Type 4. Radical Bikers. Rayman. Resident Evil Director's Cut. Revelations Persona. Uh, both rival schools this. This is the story mode. This is the battle mode. We've got Running High, a racing game where you're in suits and running with people. I think it's really cool. Scars, Sai Yuki, Journey West, Silent Bomber, Silhouette Mirage, Soul of the Samurai, Space Jam, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2. Again, they've got one before two, but you've seen two before one. Star Ocean, Street Fighter EX 2 Plus, number two before Street Fighter EX Alpha, one and two. See what I mean? we got Puzzle Fighter 2. Super Robot Wars Alpha Gaiden, Japanese Game, English Patch, Psychic Filter, Typhoo, one of my favorites when I was growing up, Shrag, basically Resident Evil with shooting and fighting, um, Tales Concerto, a game I never played but I always wanted to play, uh, Tales of Eternia, or Tales of Destiny 2 because of how America's, uh, Americans uh, thought about He-Man when they thought of Eternia, Tales of Fantasia, again the first Tales game, second Tales game, Terran Saga, Techno Mage, Tekken 3, The Adventures of Lomax, Land Four Time, Legend of Dragoon, The Mystic Dragoons, Thousand Arms, Threads of Fate, Tiny Toon Adventures, Topol Number 2 versus Topol no before Topol Number 1. Number 2, Japanese only, Number 1. Rainbow Six, Terneko, The Last Hope, World of Dragon Warrior, Twisted Metal, Valkyrie Profile, Vanguard Bandits, Viewpoint, another shoot em up game, Wacky Racers, Wild Knife, Wild Arms. Interesting thing about Wild Arms on this is that Wild Arms will not play through auto bling. On my, I don't know why, it will play on the normal PlayStation, but not this one. Uh, Wipeout 2097. I feel like I've got that, and I've got two copies of Dino Gears. This one is Dino Gears 2.0. It's basically got all the cutscenes still in Japanese with English text, does all the Japanese combos, and this is the American version right here. So those are all my games in a nutshell. The first thing I want to, uh, I will jump to is if you can select twice, 
here is the additional menu. Uh, you've got the original Prince of Persia, you've got Wolfenstein 3D, um, the Amiga emulator I've never used, Doom, and Duke Nukem 3D. So those are games that are already built into this. I believe uh, this one is a game as well, I'm not quite sure. Retro Blue Diamond Pride. And then you have your um, open B-U-O-R, or Beast of Racing. And I will hit X to go into that. This gives you a menu of basically what everything does. Uh, you know, you got X for attack, circle for attack two, uh, square is attack three, trying to open attack four. L1 is jump and R1 is your special. And that's for most of them. So hit X, we'll open up the menu. And I've only got technically four that work because I made a mistake and added something on there and it overrode something. So I've got the original Beast of Rage game, Final Fantasy Alpha, Heaven's Anime Girls, He-Man does not load, does not work properly, and then we have Sonic. Uh, let's do the, uh, we'll do the Heaven's Anime Girls, just because I think this one is pretty hilarious. And yes, right away, you've got a girl who's overly busty, and a picture of Broly right there, from the old school uh, game. We're going to press start, we're going to press start, we're going to choose a mode, which is uh, easy story mode and yeah right away you have a girl whose boobs are just her bouncing uh, while well, she's just bouncing here's the funny thing though right so bouncing boobs bouncing boobs no bouncing boobs right small chest girl bouncing boobs I believe hers do bounce but you just can't really see because of her arm being in the way this girl has a chest and no bouncing boobs, so they must be fake. So these boobs are bouncing. They're pretty much everyone, they're even 18. She is literally shaking them on purpose. Huh. But we'll just choose this particular character and uh, yeah, it's a be it's a beat em up game. What can I say, you know? And it's a pretty tough beat em up game. But you're basically a girl beating up other girls, beating up the people who've been in, uh, and probably other al alternate games, beat em up games, or probably from Japan or something like that. And as you can see, I'm doing very lousy because I haven't really played this very much. Um, I don't really know uh, what I'm doing half the time. And it looks like I'm about to die. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. At least you can see me now. And yeah, see, there we go. And it's tough. And I was, I played it one time before. I played this one particular girl. And that's pretty hilarious to take off the shoes to whack the crap out of people. That's pretty much, looks like that's the only way I'm kind of winning right now is with that little shoe move. And I don't, really don't know how I'm doing that very well. But yeah. And that is this beat em up game. And yeah, see, there's, there you got like a busty cat woman. And you've got. Uh, people who are, uh, look like they should be in a Resident Evil game, and they should be from medieval times, and, yeah, I'm pretty much dying right now, and I have no idea how, well, what's going on. Now, you, uh, unfortunately, you cannot reset this game, uh, the beat -ups, unless you actually hit the power button on the PlayStation Classic, and, yeah, see, so it says go. I love how she's, like, walking, and she's telling people, like, bring it on, bring it on, that's pretty fun. So, yeah, there's that, and there's the power button, and the circle, the start, and uh, select, oh, we'll select. There we go, yeah, there is select. So there is that right there guys and uh last thing i want to show is basically um all of the uh themes that we have going on so we have the first one you saw that we have this one here this is the external theme this is the internal theme and uh you know obviously with all my games we've got the anniversary one 
again all the games we've got the anniversary version 2 which really isn't that much of a difference We've got the dark theme. The dark theme. We have two different versions of it. I, li I honestly like how that looks personally. And uh, I love the background and all of that stuff there. We've got the version 2, which has nothing on there. It has the PlayStation Classic in the bottom left. Again. Got this automatic theme, really cool design got it going on there, and then of course you got that design and where everything looks. I love that uh, the bars where it looks like the games are actually in some kind of like uh, they're in a row, pretty much, you know, one after another. We've got the Batman theme and the internal one has an image of Batman. I love the green neon around everything. That's kind of cool. I love how it separates the games when you're playing and it has nothing around it. That's pretty neat. The Batman uh, symbol. We've got the Bio Dukes. And again, a lot of these things look pretty neat. I love how they, uh, how they are. We've got a Bleach one. And again with the internal, you got of Ichigo, you got Bleach Blink in there, you know, that's pretty neat. You go to, now here's the Breath of Fire one that I had before, now when you read that, if you reinstall this one, it doesn't have this on there, so again, when you hit start, and bam, there's my Breath of Fire one, with all of these here, and how, um, oh, you remember how this was like the menu there, and Again, you know, you've got the picture and everything else. Uh, and then, when with the internal the internal themes that I've reinstalled, um, they're going to have images of other themes. So, and you got the Chrono Trigger one. I'll be honest with you, ever since I was a kid, it looks like Chrono is about to get lucky and Marl is taking off her clothes. Even though they're focusing on the pendant, that's what it always looks like. And then what's cool is that inside here you got uh, frog, and I love the fact that I have the, the custom one there because you can actually see him holding onto the mask in the way. That's really cool. All right, going to the next thing we have Cowboy Bebop, uh, one of my favorite shows. If you haven't seen the anime, you definitely got to check it out. And I love the images on the inside. It's really cool. I love how a lot of these things have the like actual theme blinking in the center, you know, and. Uh, you know, all this stuff is pretty much all the same. We have uh, Crash Bandicoot from Crash Bandicoot itself, you know. And this one actually has the sound effect for things, actually. And, of course, it's got the images. I love that it has the old-school memory card image right there. That's pretty neat. And the bosses, the, uh, the apples. At least I always call them apples, you know. We've got uh, Crash Bandicoot Racing. With the Crash Bandicoot Racing font, which is really cool. Um, again, you've got the menu, uh, everything else, you know. Racer, start your engines, and it's got the sounds and everything else. It's, it's really, really cool, you know. We've got Deadpool, and the particular song on this one, I'm not going to say what it is, but uh, if you decide to install this on your PlayStation Classic and upgrade to this version, know that you will have a lot of things. And there's going to be a lot of things you're going to have that I don't have. I deleted quite a few of them, like some of the racing ones, because, yeah, I like racing games, but I'm not really a racing type of person. So, and of course, we have the default one. Oops, I'm scanning the game. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, and again, it's got the background of the original PlayStation Classic uh, theme. We got, well, it says Dragon Ball, but let's be honest, this is Dragon Ball Super. And even when you hit start, you open it up, you've got uh, basically all of Goku's form from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. 
Nothing GP, which I'm kind of surprised, you know, because I know there's everyone saying that GP isn't canon. I like GP, you know, I love Super Saiyan 4. I just think the Super Saiyan 4 should be Super Saiyan 1 with a tail. You know, they should, you know, have some Saiyans that, you know, maybe they fought some Saiyans in the future or some future battles. But they could have done some battles in general where they had Saiyans with tails and that was Super Saiyan to them and then obviously Saiyans. Like Goku and Vegeta without tail, and that's super, you know, super saiyan that we know as that. That would have been pretty cool. Um, but I think this is a little too bright. I love the shadow image of Goku as a kid up top. Um, but yeah, there's that. Uh, we'll go to the evolution one. Um, again, it's. I love how it's got the PlayStation in the bottom left with the power button, the open button. I love how it's got the. Uh, circle in the center. It looks really cool. I really like this. I love going down. And then you have a rainbow. That's pretty neat. Next one, we got the Final Fantasy 7 theme. Now, this isn't the theme that I downloaded. This one actually comes with 8.7. Because it has this on the inside. And yes, it does make all the sound effects uh, that, it, uh, that is there. Uh, it does have a finger. Uh, it's got the little menu there. I love how it's got the image of Sephiroth, Nova, um, Red 13 and his father Seto, and then of course, you know, Barry Cloud and Aerith and, uh, and the Meteor. That's pretty neat. Wow, that went all the way back there. Oh, jeez, sorry guys. Let me move forward. Okay. Now it's shooting way too forward. Okay, 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 here we go. Sorry about that. Final Fantasy Tactics theme. And, uh,. This is going to be the PSP one, the War of the Lions, which I hear is a better one. Again, this one has all the sound effects and everything else. We've got uh, Kingdom Hearts one with the Bleach uh, image again. You know, but again, here we got Kingdom Hearts. It does make all the sounds of the menus. I love how the save is a keyblade. That's pretty cool there. We've got Metal Gear Solid. And again, kind of push the action button to climb the lesser snake. That's all I think about every time I think of Metal Gear Solid, you know. It does make all the sounds and everything else too. On all these themes, they've all got the sounds on them. We've got Night Sky. I really like how this one is, honestly. It just seems very somber. It's got a nice little tone to it as well. Nothing new with the menu whatsoever. Most of them have that pencil image. But I love how there's a box that everything, like, loads, you know, like, puts itself into it. It's pretty neat. And of course, we got the other PlayStation Classic one. The purple isn't really my style. I don't really like it personally, but, you know, it came with it. I, I don't hate it. So, uh, you know, same basic thing. We've got um, the uh, Classic Reboot. This one's pretty cool. Um, I love how it's got Everything looking very techno-like, techy-like, very neat. I love that. I love how it's got like the PlayStation image in the left side. This is basically my favorite one, personally. This is the one that I have it on all the time. We've got the Resident Evil ones. They say Resident Evil on them, actually. Um, has everything down here. I love how it's got that. It's got jail down on the bottom. It makes all the noises and stuff. It's pretty neat. We also got Resident Evil 2. Again, same thing, it has all the sound effects, the Resident Evil 2 images, I love, has the liquor, has all these things. Evil 1, we've got a uh, shelves thing with Crash Bandicoot on it, um, it's got the PlayStation drawing on it. This one's a little bit different, I, mean, I kind of like how it's got the PlayStation uh, logo under the resume, I love the font on this, it's easy to read, that's pretty cool. We've got the Simplicity, which is basically, that's what it is, it's just simplistic one, nothing new, nothing crazy, it's just the PlayStation colors going across the screen. We've got the solar one, which is, uh, again, it's got some nice colors to it, it seems like more of a beach theme, which is pretty cool if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, the Stranger Blames, again, uh, it's got everything in red, easy to read, I love how the font's red, so it shows all the games in white, which is pretty neat. Everything. Although some the red could be a little overbearing to some who don't like it, it can be a little too much. I get it, 
Uh, we have the Tekken 2 theme, which is basically got, I love how it's got the actual uh, fonts and then the, uh, on the screen, I love how it's got the fight, the fights on the bottom, it's pretty cool. We've got the Tenchi theme. I like this one pretty cool too because I like Tenchi uh, Assassin. Um, I like the second one. A lot of people don't like the second one. I love how it's got the images down there. I love how the game is a folder is a, is a shuriken star. That's pretty neat. We next one we've got is Tomb Raider. Um, this one's pretty cool because we got the glasses, the passport, image of the water, and of course the resume is the pictures like the sage war way back when. I really like that. We've got uh, the Tron thing. This is pretty interesting because this is like the original Tron. You know, that's his active fan uh, PSC for PlayStation Classic. And it's got that line of code there. I actually tried to go to school for coding. And then when you open it up, it's uh, Tron Legacy. And we've got uh, all this here. You got Kara and Flynn facing each other. It's pretty neat. Um, I love how it's Flynn's arcade. And that when you go through uh, the game, when you, where it says play, it says Tron Legacy in the center. That's pretty cool. And you can see the bytes in the background in the upper right. We've also got a Vader theme. Um, it's not, it makes basically lightsaber sounds. Nothing but Vader uh, images there. Um, but it's, you know, it's going for a Sith look, and that's pretty neat. Uh, we have the Wild Arms one, which is another internal one. It's got the night sky, and this is my Wild Arms one right here. So, uh, you know, it's got these here. I love how the memory card looks just like the menu screens in Wild Arms. This image is from Wild Arms uh, Code F, Ultra Code F, on uh, PlayStation 2, the remake. But I love how it's got all the fonts of the original uh, Wild Arms. It's just, that's really neat. And then we have the final one, which is the Geno Gears one. And um, it's pretty cool how it's got that image there. I only got through maybe like a third of the first disc. I never uh, played the game fully. But I love how it's got the fonts. But at the same time, I'm not a big fan of the Geno Gears font on this one. Um, the memory card, again, is uh, another plain thing. The resume, state, and there's that. Again, I've got a lot of games that are from uh, Japan on this thing. A couple of beat-em-ups, and this is all that this is for. So, that is my PlayStation Classic 8.7. The difference is being the additional fonts. Uh, the fact that you can also play retro... Uh, art games and that you can also uh, do um, you know other games like NES, SNES and things like that. I'm going to go back to the one I had on originally before I switched it which I believe I may have passed it. Did I pass it? No I didn't. Okay so it's back here. Um, but again that's why I like mine specifically being PlayStation games only. It's a PlayStation Classic. It's not an NES Classic. It's not an SNES Classic. Although, if you want to add them onto it, you know, obviously, you can do whatever you want to your own PlayStation Classic. But this is how I like mine. Um, and I'm pretty much going to keep it like this. I, you know... Um, there's a lot of games on here I can play. There's a lot of games on here that bring me back to my past, you know, when I was a kid. And I, I love this thing. I think the PlayStation Classic is still one of the greatest systems ever. Even when they didn't do all this stuff. I think the games that originally came on this thing were amazing games. They had an amazing library. Because there were a lot of games that I didn't play that I wanted to play. And with all of this being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed, uh, watching this little uh, video, and we're going to head back onto the chair now, so I will see you then. Alrighty guys, there it is, the PlayStation Classic Autoblame 8.7 in a nutshell. Um, I hope that you enjoyed watching this. I didn't expect it to be as long as it was. I was hoping somewhere around 15 minutes, but you know, I guess it extended a little bit longer. I think what really took the most time was showing you the games. That took, what, about six minutes or so? I could be wrong on that one. So, there's that. But, um, yeah, those are all the things that I've added. 
the Beats of Rage or Beat'em Ups people have probably actually uh, added to it. I wanted to show you at least one of the games of my Beats of Rage, and it's a game that I haven't seen on anyone else's PlayStation Classic. The Prince of Persia, Doom, Duke Nukem, people have already shown videos of that, so I really didn't feel like I had to show any actual gameplay of those. And keeping the internal um, uh, interfaces on mine, it, was, it did take a little bit of time to figure out what to do. Well, not as much time, but I mean, if I, I, you know, I took a chance on something and it worked pretty much. So, you know, it's kind of the techie life. You do what you can and well, let's try this simple little thing and there you go, it worked. And I really like the fact that I was able to keep those because I really love those internal interfaces. I think it's funny how they keep some of the older ones. And if you do decide to download AutoLink 8.7 or if you've already downloaded it and you're up to 9.0, you know, that's cool. Personally, I don't see a reason for 9.0. Yes, it has Wi-Fi, but if I can't download games directly from the internet onto my PlayStation Classic, or I cannot really Bluetooth anything to my PlayStation Classic, I don't see a reason for it. Now, the OTG cable is great because you can have both of the front slots free for your controllers. Me, personally, with the... Uh, the hub that I have, it works out for me just fine. So there's no reason for me to really do anything like that. This is the farthest I'm going to go with my PlayStation Classic, you know. Unless uh, they come up with something that makes the PlayStation Classic amazing, that's probably the furthest that I'm going to go is 8.7. I don't need Wi-Fi. I just want it to be PlayStation games. It's what it is, and I really love it. I hope that you guys think that this is cool too. The fact that you can add games from other regions, from other countries, okay? Oh, and one more thing, again, I'm not too knowledgeable about this, I could be wrong, okay? Feel free to comment below if you want to. But when people are like, the PlayStation Classic only runs at 50 hertz, and those are PAL region games only. Do you guys know that Tokyo, the most popular city in Japan, runs off of 50 hertz? In fact, that whole half of the country runs off of 50 hertz. There are two separate power grids in Japan. The lower half of Japan runs off of 60 hertz, like we do here in America and the States. And the upper half of Japan runs off of 50 hertz. And that's just the way they put everything together when they contracted everything way back when. I think another popular city, uh, Okinawa, is uh, also in the upper half. Um, and I think that one also only runs off of 50 hertz. So it's funny, even when people visit there, they're like, oh, it's Japan, 60 hertz all the way. No, that's not true. Lower half of Japan, 60 hertz. Upper half of Japan is 50 hertz. So for all we know, all these games, yeah, sure, I know that power regions run off of 50 hertz. I've seen YouTube videos that say 50 hertz, so they're obviously in, you know, other countries. But yeah, for all we know, these games that are originally on it, running 50 hertz could be because the upper half of Japan ran at 60, ran, runs at 50 hertz, and they had to do all their technological know-how and use everything that they could do, I know I'm mumbling right now, I apologize, to get it to run at 60 hertz in the States, because that's what we run off of. Our power grids are 60 hertz, you know? So, maybe I'm wrong about that, maybe they are power region games, but all I know is that every video I've ever talked about, or ever seen, I mean, has never once mentioned about Japan being 50 hertz in the upper half and 60 hertz in the lower half when it comes to gaming channels. So maybe I taught you guys something, maybe you already, you already knew it, and you're like, dude, just shut up and end the video, which that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So guys, this is the end of the video. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to see my latest videos. I will see you again in two weeks. Also, feel free to comment about the lighting. Do you think I have better lighting now? I think I have pretty good lighting now. I like how I set everything up. And with that being said, guys, as always, do me the biggest favor and stay shiny for me. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like what you saw, hit these boxes on the screen to see my other content or the social media sites as well. And as always, Gemstones, have yourselves a great day.
I'll see you next time.